chicken rice roasted or steamed? Steam. Pineapple salt pizza, yes or no? Yes. Hot or cold dessert? Hot. Which one? Cheng Teng. Facebook or Instagram? Facebook. Parkway Peri or Takashimaya? Parkway Peri. Of course lah! What question is this? <laughs> Welcome to another episode of Chat Local, where I invite very special VIPs to show me some of their favorite makan places. And in this episode, we have someone very special. Let's welcome Minister Tan Siling. Hi, Min. Hello. Hi. 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 Good to see you. Hello, everyone. Wow. We are here in Juchet. Yes. Why Juchet? This is a very, very historical and very cultural place, and lots of good food. And of course, if you look at the architecture. All of these that you see around here date back to around about war, pre-war time. And if you look at the colour and all that, it's very classical Peranakan style. So one place that I always go whenever I come to Juchet is actually the Dhamma Food Centre. Yes. So are we going to go there for a drink now? Sure, come, let's go. Okay, let's yeah. go. Uh. Hello guys, we are here at Dhamma Food Centre. So is this the only hawker centre in Marine Parade? Oh, actually there are three. One is uh, here in Dunman. Uh, the other one is at uh, near Parkway Parade, the Marine Parade Central. Yes, Marine Parade. Yeah. And the third one is uh, over at Marine Terrace. Right. All three um, are very good in terms of the, the composition and the different types, the varieties, and also the, the deliciousness of the food. They, so you see down here the prawn mee, and uh, down here very historical significant is the tau kwa pao. Yeah, in fact, I come here very often. Uh, if for lunch and for dinner, you have different stores. They are very good. Like for lunch, I always come early for the chicken rice. Yes, At night, I'll come early for the rojak. So the only uh, thing is car park. To see how we can uh, um, uh, think of some new creative ways uh, to maybe even increase the parking lots around the, 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 yes. the whole estate yes. here so that people can come here. Mm. So you come here often for your lunch or dinner? Uh, on weekends, whenever I do the visits, I try to pop by very frequently. Yeah, I can see that all the merchants here will know you and they will be like, Hello, hello, are you here for food? <laughs> it seems like you are a foodie, yeah? Uh, yes, I am. <laughs> okay, since you are a foodie, so we have some rapid fire questions for you. Cannot think too long one, ah. Yeah, so you choose between this or that. Okay. Are you ready? Ready. Kopi or teh? Kopi. Carrot cake, black or white? Black. Kuih tiao or mikia? Mikia. Chicken rice roasted or steamed? Steamed. Pineapples on pizza, yes or no? Yes. Hot or cold dessert? Hot. Which one? Cheng Teng. Facebook or Instagram? Facebook. Parkway Peri or Takashimaya? Parkway Peri. Of course la! What question is this? <laughs> Football or basketball? Basketball. <laughs> you play basketball ah? You still when I was a kid. <laughs> Which dialect group are you from? I'm Teochew. Teochew? Yeah, Teochew. Oh, yeah. Wow, and that's the reason why you love all the steam dishes here also. So usually you will also go for like Teochew dishes, Teochew food. Oh. Yeah, as long as it's good food, I go for any type. Man. I'm agnostic. So you travel anywhere for good food? Right? Yes. Right. So how has life changed so far for these past few years for you? Well, I think uh, it's, it's actually quite a significant uh, change because um, Everything that you do, uh, you need to really plan way, way, way ahead. And even then, at the last minute, plans will change. Because, of course, uh, national duty calls. Uh. But you have been uh, with the manpower sector for maybe two and a half years? Yes. So, how has it been so far? Over the last uh, two and a half years, I've also learned a lot uh, from my colleagues, the predecessors who came before me, and also from the whole team. But I must say that uh, a lot of the fulfilment comes when you get the right policies, when you do the heavy lifting and you see the policies benefit a, a, a very big uh, swathe of people and the community at large. You know, so I actually put on Instagram saying that I'm meeting you for Makan and they have some questions from my readers also. Sure. Uh, one of them is, I think, because I work with a lot of hawkers and they are always curious, you know, what about the manpower issues in hawker stores? If you look at the whole pandemic, what it has shown is that just like the way we diversify our food sources, we cannot over-rely on, on, on one or two or three markets from where we get uh, uh, low-cost uh, or low-wage workers. Same thing, my advice to many of the, the SMEs, especially those in the food business and so on, is to really think about how do you improve your throughput through automation, improving your productivity, also thinking about 
some ways of, of digitalization to help to, to lessen the demand on the more sort of uh, manual Rock type work. of work. Yeah. Yeah. Because I think a lot of hawkers, they always face problems like, oh, you know, my mom is getting old yeah. and how do I sustain and continue on this legacy? Right. With long hours and then you got to start work at 3, 4 a.m. in the morning to cook, to prepare for food. Yeah, right. so that's actually very tough. I mean, you look at, in Japan, the sushi, Ramen, sushi. The sushi master <laughs> and so on, right? The apprentice takes years to, 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 to train. So the mentality that you are honing your skills and your craft, to come up with like a perfect hawker dish. Yeah. Mm, that's actually a good advice. Uh. <laughs> so sir, being a true blue Teochew, I heard you're going to bring me somewhere for lunch. Yeah, so further down the road, about 150 meters down Juchet Road, uh, there's a, a, a nice uh, Teochew restaurant called Ju Heng. So we'll go there and try. Okay, let's yeah. go. Hey, we are here for lunch at Ju Heng. How long have you been patronizing this place? Uh, well, I happen to live, uh, I've been living here for a long time, since the early 1990s. So you have been living here for the past 20 years? Since 1992. Oh, yeah. so you're a teacher resident? Yeah, so, yeah, so because of that, you know, in the east, you know, after a while, once you figure out where the good spots are, you just keep coming back. And my family likes this uh, restaurant as well, so we come here quite often. This is very interesting, like a small family restaurant on its own. Some of weekends are very difficult to, to, to get, so sometimes we just have to come in here and papa and bring home and eat. Okay, so you ordered for us a uh, seafood hor fun. Yes. And then, so that's when there's no rice, so this is your cup. Mm -hmm. And then the, and, and this is the ha chong kai. This is the black bean bitter pot that's right. with pork ribs and then the ha chong kai. That's right. Okay, let's dig in. Go. <laughs> wow. The essence, the essence of being a good hor fun is the wok hei. Yeah. Oh, the fat noodles. Very good, eh? Mm. Mm. Ha chong kai. Sure, sure. Ooh. The punch from the Sambal Balachan. It's very good. Mm. So I like that they fry it a la minute. Once you order, then they will start frying it. Oh, this Kuba Pai Ku must pair with white rice. Mm. How's your day to day like? Quite um, long hours. Mm -hmm. The meetings start at about. 8.30 or 9. Okay. And um, usually it'll end around about, uh, sometimes you go up to about 7. And that's just for your uh, ministerial work. Mm -hmm. And then after that, you have all your grassroots activities and so on. Mm -hmm. And by the time you finish, usually it's about 10 to 11. You come back, you got to clear your email. So you work until midnight? Mm. Then the next morning is, is uh, very early again. How do you get all the energy? You don't think about it. <laughs> one step at a time, one breath at a time. Is there any priorities for you for 2023? This year is where we now look at uh, just supporting all of our locals every single step of the way. When you say supporting locals means what? Opening up opportunities, identifying where the gaps are, mm. helping them to train, investing in, in, in their training mm. and also making sure that um, that training results because today the world is experiencing a lot of disruptions. For us to continue to stay relevant you know, to the world, so we always have to, to, to keep three steps, four steps, five steps ahead. Mm. Yeah. Mm. So we have to be forward thinking. I think that's the main thing. We don't have resources. We don't have natural resources. The only resource we have is our human manpower, yeah. Yeah. our brains. We are in this limited period of time where, where we are in a very good state. We should just harness and, and, and move it forward. Right? Okay, last question for you. Yeah. And a lot of Singaporeans, I mean the younger Singaporeans, we always say, wow, they're self-entitled and all. They always have a lot of requests, higher salary, they want to work from home and all. So what's your take on it? I don't think that, uh, that they are self-entitled. Every generation um, have their different aspirations and their different expectations, right? Things are moving into digitalization. Yeah. I4.0. People are moving into sustainability, green economy. FinTech, AI, these people will stay relevant in those respective fields. So when people tell you that I want to, to have a bit more me time, I want to, to, to do a bit of uh, work from home or flexible work arrangement, it's because of the fact that they also have other passion and interests. All you know, they may be choosing some other courses that they are upgrading themselves for. Many of the, of the, of the, the young people today have similar aspirations if not more. But for them, they may see that 
whatever you're asking them to do, right, they don't see a future for them. Mm. Right? It's how that you articulate that vision, how you engage them. Yeah. You look at within the span of 20 years, how the technology has just moved on and on. So you use that as an example today. That is how jobs are changing. Really, the next one year or so, you see a lot of announcements coming up to see how at every step of the way the government will work with you. Okay, uh, I'm very excited about 2023. La. Yeah, at least there are new policies coming up which will help SMEs. Thank you so much, Minister, for coming up to my show and makaning with me and sharing more of your insights on things. I uh, hope you enjoyed this episode and don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Shall we continue with our makan? Yes, thank you. <laughs> thank you.